guys, it's Hannah and Siddeley and we're back today with another worship session. So get up on your feet and dance around and let's praise Jesus. Our first song is one that we sang on our very first worship session together. So it's all about different animals. Can you remember it? If I were a butterfly, I thank you Lord for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I thank you Lord that I could sing. In the sea, I wiggle my tail and I giggle with glee, and I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Cause you gave me your heart and you gave me your smile, you gave me Jesus and you made me your child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. If I were an elephant, I thank you, Lord, for raising my trunk. And if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right. Fantastic job, everyone. That was super good. Now, if you were a butterfly, what color would you be? I would be blue. What color would you guys be if you were a butterfly? Those are some really pretty colors. Now, our next song has a lot of counting. And it's all about how God created the earth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Whoa. Whoa. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. Put the sun in the sky super duper far. Whoa. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number five, got birds and fish, dolphins and whales and things that go squish. On day number six, got made animals and bugs, foxes and cubs, all for us to hug. Whoa. Whoa. On day number six, God also made man. He said it was good and part of his plan. On day number seven, God stopped to rest. He saw what he made. It was his best. Whoa. Four, five, six, seven. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and He made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Oh, that was a lot of counting. Let's go see what Emma and Leah are up to. Bye, guys! Hey, Emma. What are you doing? Hey, Leo. I'm just playing with Play-Doh. That's cool. What are you making? I don't know. What should I make? How about an automatic transmission? What's that? Never mind. How about an octopus? OK, let me try. Ta-da! Wow, that's super cool. You just created something out of nothing. Huh, I guess I did just do that. I feel like a superhero, Emma the Animal Maker. You know, this reminds me of how God created the world. Everything he created in the beginning was perfect. Even more perfect than my octopus? 
Definitely. You're probably right. Let's ask Miss Katie if we can hear all about it. Sure. If you want to hear on the count of three, yell, Hey, Miss Katie. One, two, three. Hey, hey Miss Katie. Katie. Hi, everyone. It's so good to see you. Today, we're going to look in the Bible. We're going to actually look at the very first book of the Bible and the very last book of the Bible. The first book of the Bible is called Genesis, and it's such a special book because it tells us about the beginning of everything. And the last book of the Bible is called Revelation. It's also a very special book because it tells us all about what's going to happen in the future. The first book of the Bible, Genesis, starts out, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, on day one, God created light, day and night. On day two, God created sky. On day number three, God created the seas and the land and the plants and the trees. On day number four, God created the moon and the sun and the stars. On day number five, God created all of the birds that are in the air and the fish in the sea. And on day number six, God created all the animals and the bugs and he created man. On day number seven, God stopped and he rested. Everything was perfect. When God made man, he made Adam and Eve, and they lived in a very special place called the Garden of Eden, and it was a perfect place to live. They were able to walk and talk face to face with God. That's how God originally created for everything to be perfect, for us to walk face to face with him, where there would be no tears, no pain, and no sadness. But Adam and Eve made a choice and they disobeyed God. You see, God gave them one rule. They could eat from any tree in the Garden of Eden except for one. Well, when they disobeyed, they ate from that one tree God told them not to. And sin entered into the garden. Now remember, sin is whatever you think, whatever you say, whatever you do that makes God sad. They had to leave this beautiful, perfect place that God created, the Garden of Eden. They were pulled apart from God. God doesn't want to be pulled apart from us. So he came up with a very special plan. He sent his one and only son down to earth as a baby. Jesus lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. But did he stay dead? No, because three days later, he rose again because Jesus is alive. Because Jesus died for our sins and rose again, we are now brought back together with God. So in the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible, it talks about how God is working on making a new perfect place for us to live called heaven. There won't be any tears, there won't be any pain or sadness. It'll be a perfect new place. Just like how God created the Garden of Eden, God's working on this perfect place for us even now. But as we wait on God to finish building heaven, we get to actually right now help make the world how God wants it to be. But how can we do this now? Well, we can be kind to others. We can share our things with each other. We can help one another. We can take care of the earth. And most importantly, we can tell others how much Jesus loves them. Let's ask God right now to help us make the world how he wants it to be. Will you pray with me? Okay, get your hands ready. Are you ready? Okay. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, fold them in your lap. Okay, let's close our eyes and let's talk to God. God, thank you so much for loving us. Please help us make the world how you want it to be. Thank you so much for creating heaven. We love you. Amen. Well, I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm excited for you to hear what Emma and Leo have to say. Have a great day!
Theo, where are you? We need to say goodbye to the kids. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, sorry, I was stuck in wardrobe. What are you wearing? We're talking about Adam and Eve. So I came in costume. Well, really, Miss Katie was talking about heaven. I can't wait to see heaven. It's going to be a perfect place that God is building for us to live with him. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Better than ice cream and puppies? Definitely better than ice cream and puppies. Bye! Bye.